Well, welcome to Java and Jazz, Best of Broadway. Uh, at this moment, I'd like to introduce to you our MC for tonight's show. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Toby Shu. While the show continues, our highly trained service staff will float around and refill your beverage as you wish. You may choose from fruit infused water or decaf coffee from motivated coffee roasters. Now, without any further delay, it is an honor to introduce our first special guest service this evening. Having performed in previous FCS productions, such as Music Man, Oliver, and Fiddler on the Roof, she is no stranger to this very stage. Tonight, she will be performing as the character Adelaide from the hit 1950s musical, Guys and Dolls. Please welcome Miss Kirsten Robinson. Community property, kind of feeling she's getting too old. A person. 
May I have your attention, please? Your attention, please. I can deal with this trouble, friends, with the wave of my hand, this very hand. Please observe me, if you will. I'm Professor Harold Hill, and I'm here to organize a River City Boys Band. Well, think, my friends, how can any pool table ever hope to compete with a gold trombone? Remember, my friends, what a handful of trumpet players to the famous fabled walls of Jericho. The fabled parlor walls go tumbling down. Oh, well, band, we'll do it, my friends. Oh, yes, I said a boys' band. Do you hear me? I said River City's gonna have a boys' band, and I mean, she needs it today. Well, Professor Harold Hill is on hand. River City's gonna have her boys' band. As sure as the Lord made little green apples, and that band's gonna be in uniform. Johnny, Willie, Teddy, and Fred. You'll hear the glitter of crashing cymbals, the thunder of rolling drums, and the shimmer of trumpets. And you'll feel something akin to the electric thrill I once enjoyed. Gilmore, Liberati, Pat Conway, the great creator, and John Philip Sousa all get to town on the very same historic day. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes, that number uh, featured for the first time making their debut at Job and Jazz as a family, the band Huevos Band. Yeah, talented bunch they are. And our next number features one of our singers, Caleb, Caleb Emmett plays with us on the beautiful song, Bring Them Home. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, you're in for a real treat. We have some great, phenomenal talent here, not only instrumental, but also vocally. And we're going to feature these two up-and-coming uh, singers here at Fremont Christian School. They're going to be playing a number of parts, all in one song from the hit Broadway American musical Hamilton. They'll be playing Hamilton. Uh, let's see, Thomas Jefferson. Uh, Madison has like one word in there. And of course, Tom, uh, Aaron Burr. <laughs> Aaron Burr. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. R.J. Mancha and Brandon Vaughn. Close your 
waiting to happen. So a lot of bell changes up here, but uh, they're doing great. These kids wanted you to know tonight that five of them are fifth graders. That's unusual. Yeah, they're doing great. And the others are uh, a part of the junior high program, and next year we'll be moving into the advanced handbell program, so we're just really thrilled with the work that they're doing. We'd like to conclude uh, our portion of the program tonight with Memory from Cats.
got their daddies and mommies. I'm here to tell you about one of the coolest musicals I know. I'm talking about West Side Story. Inspired by Willie Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. West Side Story is a hit story set in the gritty streets of New York City. The dark themes, except the dance scenes, and focus on social problems mark the turning point in American musical theater. But what really makes West Side Story a cut above the rest is the music. Lenny Bernstein wrote a smash score that makes me want to snap, sing, and rumble. So watch out, this next tune you're going to hear may make you want you to rumble. Hey, fellas. pleasure to introduce to you our next featured soloist whose dedication, diligence, and vocal prowess has made this next song possible to even perform tonight. Uh, not only has she artistically arranged this song for our very own Cardinal Band, but she has done so with an unwavering commitment to excellence and a tireless work ethic that is truly commendable. Singing one of the most iconic songs from the hit musical Dreamgirls, please walk to the stage Miss Amina Gowdy.
All right, so as we get too closer to the end of the, the show tonight, uh, before we do our last numbers, our last number, uh, we're gonna honor some of our students. These are students who have been in the band program for at least three years in at FCS. They receive a pin and a block letter, so they put on their letterman jacket. So these students right here, uh, you know who you are, Joshua, Kayla, Ricky, Brandon, Amita, Neil, Nathai, Eric, Alex, Matthew, Sean, Cammy, Noah, Johanna, Shreyas, Joe Tang and Nadia, please have a stand. Very good, thank you. Good. These people have shown the commitment to the program and stayed with me through all these years. And some I've actually known for quite a while, some actually since since fourth grade. So it it's always brings a little tear to my eye when I think, oh, where are they starting and where they ended up. So I like to acknowledge them. Uh, another thing, if you can see the lights and hear us today, if you see us and hear us, we have our fantastic tech team, uh, that Tristan Robinson and Danny Chicas. Thank you for this. So as the final crescendo approaches, we gather to honor some extraordinary students that have finally met their last concert here at Fremont Christian with the with the high school band. Uh, we want to acknowledge our seniors. Seniors, can you stand up for us? Thank you, guys. Their passion, their talent is unwavering. Their dedication is endless. And they have truly enriched not only this ensemble, but my, myself, my life. And they have left an indelible mark here at Fremont Christian on the FGS music legacy. So I just want to leave you with a little words from Jeremiah 29 11. It reminds us of God's plans for the hope uh, for each of us. It says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans for welfare, not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. So as these seniors embark on a new chapter in their lives, we trust in God's promise of a bright and fulfilling future. May their harmonies continue to inspire and uplift, echoing the melody of God's divine grace in the endeavors ahead. Thank you all. I will miss you. You're always welcome back to come play with me. <laughs> and I really thank God for you all being in my life. Thank you so much. This last number, we have a very special guest who wrote it back in 1910. Please welcome George M. Cohan. Along with having penned such stopping standards as Over There, Yankee Doodle Boy, and Your Grand Old Flag, I have also been a playwright, lyricist, actor, singer, dancer, and producer. Did you know that Broadway is often called the Great White Way? People call that because of the big, bright advertising lights that line the streets like a constellation of stars. But we all know that the real stars of Broadway aren't the lights, but said, the actors, dancers, stage managers, and musicians who all give 100% every night so that you can have an experience that you can't get anywhere else. This final song we will be performing for you is a tune I wrote myself. It's my personal love letter to the place where I, as well as many other aspiring actors, dancers, and musicians once called home.
Check it. Mr. B, what a wonderful concert, as always. The seniors, we want to give you a quick little thank you uh, from the bottom of our hearts. And this has been a wonderful several years. So, who would like to take it away? Uh, hi, Mr. B. You are literally the only trumpet teacher I've ever had, except for the one time I took a lesson before COVID and COVID happened and I didn't continue. But other than that, uh, I've learned everything I know from you and I think you made me into a really good trumpet player. So thank you. How many years has it been since I first uh, became a joint band? Eight, nine? I can't remember. But I do remember the night right before I joined fourth grade band. I remember being extremely afraid. Like I didn't, I didn't know anything about music. I, and I my parents actually forced me into this. So, <laughs> so oh, no, on the night before, I was like, I have no clue what I'm doing. And there, those those fears became true. But I couldn't blow a single note into a single woodwind instrument. However, Mr. B invited me to join percussion, and I always thought percussion was, oh, it's just some shit, random stuff here and there. But no, in actuality, it's about adding color, it's about adding sand and sound, and it's, it's about adding texture to the band. And so, Mr. B, thank you for teaching me these things and allowing me to express myself of that and learn in a way that I might have never have learned, uh, done if I have not never met you. So, thank you. Mr. B. First of all, I just wanted to take thank you so much for this opportunity that you gave me today because, well, every opportunity you've give me, given me has given me a chance to grow tremendously, especially beautiful. <laughs> so, throughout my years in the jazz band, I just want to thank you for everything you've done for me, every single opportunity and advice and just, just everything. So, thank you so much. Um, so, I've been in band since fourth grade, so that's a little too long. Um, <laughs> um, and uh, I remember playing clarinet for a year. Anyways, I'm not doing that anymore. But uh, because of elementary band, you really, your like, energy and just your passion for music really made like music like fun for me, and it made me enjoy music so much more, and it's now why music is such a big hobby for me now, so I just wanted to say thank you for that. Um, Mr. B, there's just a lot to say. Um, first of all, I wouldn't be who I am without you, without your guidance. Uh, you've taught me so much about the saxophone, but you've also taught me how to improve as a person in my kindness and my patience um, and in my understanding of others. Um, I remember my first gig at uh, that one coffee shop in Mission, um, going on rides to Monterey and stopping the internet, and going to ACSI trips and getting back way too late. <laughs> I'm really going to look forward to going to Europe with you this summer um, to make more memories. You're our band teacher, but also a friend and a father figure to a lot of us, and we love you for that, so thank you, Mr. Meek. Classes were always the highlight of my day. Um, even though most of them were at 7 in the morning, and I was trying to fight it, I still enjoyed every minute I was actually there. Uh, I'll miss the gigs we go on and that we got to skip school for. I'll miss the band debriefs where we talk about the Pelican Lady. Um, even though this is never actually possible physically, um, I've always looked up to you. Uh, that's one of the things <laughs> six years that I've known you, um, from teaching me how to play trumpet when I was in seventh grade, uh, even though I kind of hated it, and then from introducing me to the trombone and uh, making me follow the jazz. Um, one of my highlights um, with you over these past like two years, three years I've been in jazz now, is that um, I just remember that like after school sometimes, we st I stay a little bit too long and uh, make my brother wait in the car for me, because we'd be like talking about jazz for like, an hour and a half, just about like different players and just like, our thoughts on it. So, um, uh, thank you for that. <laughs> for talking to me about that. 
Um, and just thank you for um, being one of the biggest role models in my life. So thank you. Stayed for two years, then I'm like, all right, I'm gonna call it quits. I ain't gonna do this no more. <laughs> so I remember seeing in the hallway saying, Oh, Nick, you should go, you should join Bam Back. And I'm like, All right, yeah, I'll do it one day. And I'm like, Yeah, man, I'm like, I ain't doing this again. <laughs> so, but so this year, I'm like, You know what, for senior year, why not join Bam again and then have some fun? So thank you for encouraging me and helping me and giving me the opportunity to stay in Bam for one more year. Mr. B, I thank my lucky stars uh, every day that you're my band teacher. Uh, <laughs> you really like, like I'm. Um, I don't think I would care enough about music if you weren't my band teacher. Just seeing the energy that you radiate and the effort you put in, how much you care about your students, the patience for us you have, uh, like really inspires me. And I think you really changed the trajectory of my life, and I'm sure you're changing like so many others by making them inspired to do music as well. Thank you so much, Mr. B. Mr. B, when I first met you, I was scared, to be honest. But but um, when they told me to join your J term just for fun, and I got to know like what type of person you are, you are an amazing person, and I really want to say that you made me love music. Like I wasn't really into it before you taught me, just for this half year. And I really thank you for that. Thank you, Mr. B. <laughs> I guess I'm last. Um, Mr. B, um, you've been, well first of all, I've been playing clarinet for a lot longer than I've been at the school, but my musical journey really started sophomore year in Dixie with you, and I've come so far since then thanks to you, but you've been so much more than that. You've been a dedicated teacher, you know, a great mentor, a role model, and just an amazing human being. So thank you for being in all of our lives. We love you, Mr. B. Thank you for everything, Mr. B. We could stand here for hours and say our praises to you, but uh, we want to go home, and you all want to go home too. So thank you so much for coming. We love our amazing band director. Thank you so much to Christy, Ms. Christy Mrs. Hitson, and the wonderful band now. So, Thank you all. Have a good night.